Yeah. Hello and welcome to another video by Johnny. Today, one of my students, one-on-one -on -one student, is going to practice speaking. Okay. So, Miss Trum, are you ready for your speaking practice? Yes. Ready. Ready when you are. Okay. So let's go to part one first. Okay. So talking about work, did I did we, did I ask you about work before? Uh, no. You have okay. asked me before. Okay, so now you will be asked about work. So what do you do for a living? Mm, um, just uh, last year, I worked as a nail technician. I worked. Ờ, uh, kéo dài nha. Nó rõ chứ ờ rồi nha. I worked. I worked. I worked as a nail uh, technician uh, at a small um, nail salon. And uh, I worked there for two uh, two years and uh, yeah but after that i i have a uh, maternity leave oh maternity for, leave so you maternity, took maternity leave yes i took maternity leave for uh, four months already i think it's called maternal leave maternal, maternal. leave actually yeah wait oh is it maternity leave moment let me check Mar mater maternity leave. Or I'm applying is, it, is it called maternity leave? Yeah, maternity yeah. leave, sorry. And okay, sorry. Maternity leave. I took maternity leave and then what happened afterwards? Um I took the maternity leave. Uh for I have I have Taken maternity leave for four months already. Yeah. And hey, so I stayed. Are you afraid? More... Are you afraid of losing your job? Um, no, I'm not afraid of losing my job because you know it's um there's a lack of uh, workforce, mm -hmm. and in this area in my city. So and also I'm quite confident with my skills. That's why I'm not feel I don't have any like feeling of nervous nervousness to lose the job and also and also the owner um always ask me uh, I always tell me that I can I can uh, come back working anytime I want. Okay, <clears throat> I see. So, what are your responsibilities in that workplace then? Um, so, let's uh, speaking of responsibility, I worked as a, a nail tech, so I just a normal staff there. And uh, usually about my job, I usually like uh, take care of the clients and uh, also um, do some cleaning after work okay right so okay. why did you choose to do that type of work or that job so let's say about the reason why i ch chose that job uh, you know because of the um, because of money you know Duyên tiền đừng Duyên tiền đừng Just because of money yeah. like, Of course, like, everyone work for money yeah. For money Like, you know um, Actually, I Haven't did that job before So when I moved to Canada Like, it's the um, Like um, The fastest way to uh, Make money To afford the living cost here so and uh, also is is that that uh, tradi traditionally Vietnamese people they are famous uh, for uh, nail skills. So yeah, I chose to be I chose to be a nail technician. So it's easier for me. And um, I think I I think I like uh, go. Um, Uh, 
có kỹ năng, có tay nghề, có... They have the specialty. I mean, they have yeah. the um, skills necessary for that, I think. Yeah, I think. I think I have uh, ne uh, necessary skills for that. <clears throat> I see. Right, so is there some other kind of work you would rather do? Hôm nay nghĩ là có công việc nào khác mà bạn muốn làm hả? Mà bạn Hay thà là bạn... muốn làm không? Có công việc nào khác mà bạn thà là tôi muốn làm thay vào chuyện đó không? Ồ, oh. suy nghĩ Like, bây giờ không xa không làm công việc đó thì tôi, thì tôi thà tôi muốn làm công việc nào khác không? I would rather do yeah. this. I would rather do something else, something like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like I mentioned, I just choose to I chosen to be a nail tech just for like um về vấn đề về về tiền bạc là gì anh? Cái từ đó quên. About monetary issues is tiền bạc cái chữ monetary, monetary. Monetary. Monetary issues. issues. Yeah. Những vấn đề so, tiền bạc. So issues issues so i like i said before like i mentioned before i chosen to i chosen to be a nail technician because of um, uh monet, monetary issues monetary and, issues um, issues uh but if i have uh, uh up an, an op another opportunity another opportunity i could like to be a pharmacist because I a prefer... pharmacist? Wow. Yeah. Why pharmacy? Um, like, I would like to do a work related to um, a brainstorming, like a công việc về đầu óc anh. Right. Like, Hi. what kind of brainstorming job? Yeah, brainstorming job rather than uh, công việc tay chân này. Rather than manual work. Manual work. You know work. the word manual, right? Manual, it yeah. means uh, thuộc về bà tay chân, manual work. Yeah, manual work. Chân. Rather than manual work. Um, because <coughs> like... Um, um, because, because it of earns my... more, let's say that. It earns yeah, more. <laughs> firstly, it's earn more and also um, my health is not... Um, it doesn't enable me to do strenuous uh, work yes so yeah for example being a nail text i have to like um, sit uh, on chairs for like about 10 hours a day so it's not good for my like, spy um, you can stand up you know no you can always no. stand up <laughs> No, stand up is just suitable for like um, office work. I mean, but being a native, you cannot stand up. Oh, but you can always stand up for a while and then move around, you know, and then you just sit down again. But you know, sitting a lot is very bad for your health. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so can you describe briefly the? Uh, okay, uh, you work for a nail salon, right? So do you enjoy your work? Mm. Uh, let's talk about my work. Yeah. Um, when I uh, for the very first days to be a nail tech, I I think I hated it because um like uh, it took me a long time to get used to it so i i found it uh, like uh, difficult for me to um to be a nail tech but uh, after months and like about a year um i find it i found it interesting interesting uh, i find interesting, it interesting. interested careful i find interesting. it 
Yeah, I find it interesting uh, to be um, um, to be a nail artist because of two foreign reasons. Firstly, I like I love art, so um, through doing nails, I can like draw some a piece of art on the uh, customer nails. That yes. it can satisfy my, like, uh, my passion, mm -hmm. and uh, you know Even also this art doesn't last a long time, but it is yeah. art anyway. Yeah, and um, also because of um, it can satisfy my uh, passions and creativity, and um, uh, moreover, uh, I can receive the, the respect. The from respect. my customer the respect from my customer because uh, of taking care of their nail health and um, also you know in my salon uh, there are many uh, Vietnamese people uh, give me a second Đồng Hương nghĩa là gì? Đồng Hương thì anh là gì? Countryman Countryman so nhiều Countryman yeah um Uh, there are many Vietnamese people, so uh, like um, while walking, I can communicate with them, sharing like my old thoughts, my um, like my old thought, many things together. So yeah. So um. The countryman okay, working good. there is one of uh, motivations. Right. So, one what do you motivation. like and what do you like and dislike about the job? Then. Yeah. So, for the things that I like about my job, um, the first one is um, the the first one is that it's enable me to enable be creative. Uh, it enables me to enables, it, en it enables me it enables it enables it enables yeah it enables me to uh to be cre to, to be creative i mean i can create i can um uh come up with many like designs or any piece of art on my customers nails Uh, with many colors and um, uh, and also um, uh, to be a nail technician I can have oh, this can give me an like uh, a great opportunity to yes. uh, make money you know especially in summer um, With a huge number of clients coming, I can earn like a, a fixed salary and also a tip from them. A tip, you know, tip box is always welcomed. And a lot of the time, I believe that workers in saloons, they, they earn most of their wages through tips, right? Yeah, that's it. Because... I mean, in America, tips a lot. It's a, it's like a must. Như một cái điều bắt buộc luôn. Yeah, like must. And yeah. because you know, employers pay their workers so low, that's why they have to leave on tips. That's what I remember. Yeah. Okay. So, so well. do you work better in the mornings or in the afternoons? Uh. All right, do you work better in the mornings or in the afternoons then? Vậy em chọn cái nào để nói cái này không biết ý là gì. Mình làm việc tốt hơn ở buổi sáng hay là các buổi trưa chiều or in any other time of the day? Yeah, you can just try to talk about it that way, you know. Um, okay. Um, I I would like to work 
in the afternoon because um, I consider myself as an at a night owl. So a um, night owl, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, normal... that's why I start. That's why I teach online a lot. You know. <laughs> yeah. So I usually uh, stay. Uh, stay up late at night and uh, sleep in in, uh, in the morning so usually I um, uh, wake up at the um, uh, midday and uh, start start walking in the afternoon in the afternoon right in the afternoon right okay so uh will you keep doing this job for a long time after you got your IELTS exam result or something? Um will you keep... uh actually I'm not doing I I will not doing this job for a long time. Uh actually I start working at the nail tech right now uh because I'm focusing on studying for example IELTS to yes. like prepare for um, the, any course or any like uh, <clears throat> uh, studying program in the future <coughs> okay right so do you miss being a student um, yeah. and to be honest yeah i um, really i really liked being a student um you know um, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, being a student. Um, um, the first one that I liked, the first one that I loved being a student is that um, I had many friends uh, back there in my country. So uh, we uh, usually spend spent our time like um, eating out uh, when uh, going shopping together and um, so and uh, also um, like a student I have I had I used to have the um, monthly allowance from uh, parents oh, monthly so, allowance so, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah monthly allowance from my parents so I didn't uh, have to like um, to work part-time or something to afford my uh, living cost mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I find it yeah less stressful oh I see would you choose to be a freelancer like me <laughs> why why not you know, freelancer is someone who doesn't yeah, work for anybody. Yeah. Người làm yeah. Tự do. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. In some points of my life, I um, I think I would like to be a freelancer um, because of two main reasons. Uh, firstly, I have like. Firstly, is the firstly, uh, is it the freedom? I can walk anytime I want. Uh, I can um, do anything I want, and uh, so the schedule is more flexible than uh, like an office staff and or like uh, or working for any employers. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, and the second one, and on top of that, uh, being a freelancer. Um, I think it's like uh, uh, the it's a great opportunity for me to like uh, start up um, the business I want. The business, I, business, business, business. I want, for example, uh, I and my husband uh, desire a, a nail salon for for. Yes. Yes. The design, design uh, a nail salon for my old 
for our own. For our own. For our own. Our own. Our own. Our own. For our own. Okay. So, do you think people nowadays work too much? I do think I work too much. <laughs> um. Yeah, I agree that. Uh, nowadays, in recent years, uh, more and more people spend uh spend more time uh working than they did in the past. Um. The first reason I think is that the um, is that um, the first reason I think is an increasing living cost. Um, people have to spend more money for like um, uh, like uh, more money to pay bills, so uh, they have to. Uh, Work more to earn more money, and uh, uh, moreover, yes. Maybe you. Maybe of course. Chỉ là do duyên tiền định. Of course, because of money. Because of money. Tại sao? Tại sao chị lại là vào lì làm việc ở công ty này duyên tiền định? <cười> work too much. Of uh, course, because of money. Vì tiền. Thấy tặng vì tiền không ạ? Of course. Otherwise, what do you work for? Không ai làm việc vì đam mê đâu thiệt luôn á. Bây thời nào rồi? <cười> you know. Nobody work for nobody work for passion anymore. You know. Yeah. Actually, money is very strong. It's a very strong motivation. Một động cơ rất là mạnh luôn á. The why people work. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, let's go to part two and part three now. Um, <clears throat> let's try a part two and part three. Can you try this one? Okay, number three. Describe a person who you think wears unusual clothes. Miêu tả một cái người mà bạn nghĩ là mặc những cái quần áo lạ thường Mặc những quần áo lạ thường, ví dụ chú Hề Hoặc là quần áo của phi nha, của um, diễn viên điện ảnh, something like that Like a clown or um, movie star, something like that Or singer, something you know, wear unusual clothes yeah. Những quần áo lạ thường You should say who this person is. Người này ai vậy? How you knew this person? Làm thế nào bạn đã biết cái người này? What his or her clothes are like? Quần áo của họ như thế nào? Explain why you think the clothing is unusual. Giải thích tại sao bạn nghĩ rằng cái quần áo đó nó lạ thường. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, a person who usually wear unusual clothes that I can think about is uh, a singer, Lady Gaga. Um, wait, wait, her. wait. You have part three as well. Do you yeah. think that what people wear can influence their mood? Bạn có nghĩ rằng những gì con người ta mặc có thể ảnh hưởng đến tâm trạng của họ không? Think about the color. Think about the fabric. Cái chất liệu vải nè. The fabric. Think about the style. Cái phong cách xẻ áo, phong cách quần như thế nào. Think about <cười> um, what uh, what kind of clothes. Cái loại quần áo gì. Do you think it is a good idea to buy clothes online? Bạn có nghĩ rằng mua đồ trên mạng, mua quần áo trên mạng là một ý tưởng tốt hay không? What kind of clothes do people wear in a workplace? Con người ở nơi làm việc thường mặc những cái loại quần áo như thế nào? What are the differences between clothes worn by old people and those by young people? Có sự khác biệt nào giữa những quần áo được mặc bởi người già và những người trẻ hay không? And do you think that clothes reflect 
a person's point of view or opinions about many things. Bạn có nghĩ rằng cái quần áo nó phản ánh cái cách nhìn nhận hoặc là cái cách nhìn của người ta về nhiều thứ khác nhau cuộc sống hay không? Trời ơi, trời. Well, this will be hard for you. So I think think about một số người mặc quần áo liên quan đến những cái uh, social causes. Yeah. Social causes. Những cái theo đuổi của xã hội những sự theo đuổi hoặc là um, phong trào của xã hội Trend. social causes một số cái quần áo nó liên quan đến cái gì political movement political movement nó gọi là phong trào chính trị political movement phong trào chính trị like for example clothes um, that support the LGBT movement, you know. Quần áo bảy màu, bảy sắc cầu vòng đó, để mà uh. ủng hộ cho dân phong trào LGBT. Ừ. Hoặc là quần áo mà để ủng hộ cho đảng dân chủ, đảng cộng hòa. Like clothes red or blue to support uh, republic, republicans or uh, democrats. Republican là mấy ông uh, đảng cánh hữu Còn Democrat những ông cánh tả <cười> Ok Think about um, Cái độ ngắn quần áo đó Look about Think about how short The dress How short the pants is Or how short the pants are Có một số người họ cố tình mặc rất ngắn luôn nha The people who are uh, intentionally wear clothes that are very very short you know or cố tình mặc uh, ví dụ như nam cố tình mặc váy này like men who wear skirts or something like that họ có thể là họ muốn um, nói một điều gì đó they want to make a point make a point about something ví dụ ủng hộ nữ quyền chẳng hạn Supporting feminism Supporting feminism They might wear clothes that, that makes them look like like female, you know Nam có thể mặc đồ giống như nữ To support a uh, male can wear clothes that looks like women To support feminism if they want it, of course Okay, so those are the things that you should think about All right, describe a person who you think wears unusual clothes, please. Um, I think think about a person uh, wearing unusual clothes. I would say uh, a singer, Lady Gaga, and um, I knew her uh, through a uh, headline uh, story uh, on the online newspapers um, when she. Uh, when she was an, a rising artist uh, and uh, f- uh, famous for uh, her um, um, music videos and um, uh, about her uh, clothes, uh, I can say they are like, um, they usually made from like, um, they usually um, uh went go with um like uh bright colors uh, like uh, contract colors and um in um like uh, bizarre shapes and um um and, sp- and one thing special about her uh she could wear the um, clothes are made from um, uh, outstanding material materials uh, i can say uh, one time he uh, one time she wore wore worn she wore um, a, a dress made from uh, pork so it's made her like uh, outstanding Um, um, wait, on the red it carpet. made her stood out. Nó làm stood cho cổ uh, 
đặc biệt ra It made her stand out hoặc là she she stood out from the crowd from the crowd it made her stand out hoặc là she stood out from the crowd có khác biệt với lại đám đông yeah so that dress made her stood a stand out from the crowd And um, and I haven't seen anyone wear like that kind of dress so far. Okay, so do you think what people wear can influence their mood? Um, okay, um... Yeah, I agree that a uh, clothes can um, have a positive and negative effect on people's mood. Um, let's talk about the positive uh, point. Um, for example, light color or vibrant color can uh, make uh, people feel like uh, optimistic, uh, more energy to uh, do uh, uh, activities and um, of, um, Uh, in particular, in summer, uh, it's easier for for us to see um, maybe on the beach um, many people wear uh, colorful bikinis or swimming suits. Like um, yeah, and um, in winter, uh, people are likely to wear like um, dark color, like black, gray. Uh, a brow something it can like um, make uh, make people feel like uh, warm warm and cozy and um, like um, but uh, in contrast uh, clothes also like uh, negatively uh, influence um, on people's mood uh, for instance um, uh-huh. Um, for instance, yeah. What? For instance, uh, for instance, um, in the summer, if you wear like um, clothes made from uh, wool or wool, or like uh, yes, or like uh, with um, thick. Fabric, right? Yeah, thick, yeah, thick fabric. Yeah, thick fabric. Yeah, it's thick not fabric. a good idea, right? Yeah, it's not a good idea. Yeah. So, um, so idea. you, yeah, it's make you feel hot or even sweat a lot, and, and you might die because yeah, of the heat. Because Just of the heat, yeah, shock. Nhiệt độ. Die because yeah. of the heat, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, difficult to like uh, walk or something. I see. Okay. So, so, do you think it's a good idea to buy clothes online? Um. Yeah, I think it's the. Uh, it's time to like uh, go shop. Give me a second. It's time to what? Give me a second. So um. Uh, in this uh, digital age, digital uh, age, yeah, this digital age, shopping online is more popular than uh, buying clothes in traditional way, like going to the market or supermarket. I think, and um, I think it's the good idea to uh, shopping online because of two main reason. Uh, firstly, you it can Uh, have you to save time I mean um, by uh, going to the supermarket or market uh, it's a kind of waste of time for com- uh, commuting um, and also in summer I find it like uh, inconvenient to uh, walk uh, to walk under the hot weather mm-hmm. and um, Yeah. yeah, and uh, also, uh, 
shopping online uh, you can like uh, it's easier for you uh, and it's easier for me to chase my uh, my purchasing like um, just purchase 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 my purchasing habit yeah or my buying habit you know my so, buying uh, habit buy or my purchasing habit okay so um shopping online can help me to uh, control my buying habit i mean um for example uh i can like um choose any uh, um, product or anything I want and put it in like uh, in my cart and uh, and while waiting in my cart and uh, mm -hmm. I can second think second, I can uh, sing it so in the meanwhile I can consider what I really, really want, what, what I need, I really, really need to buy, and so, like, I think I can save money with uh, buying online. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, what kind of clothes do people wear in the workplace then? Um. Okay, so uh, nowadays is the um, uh, it appears that uh, many uh, workplaces have their old uniforms. I mean, um, uh, so people usually wear like uh, um, clothes uh, designed uh, for their old work for example in like uh, many co uh corporate or big companies it's uh, popular to um notice that um the staff working there wear uh, suits vests or uh, like uh, uh, okay suits or vest and um or like besides um uh, example so yeah let's just say like, let's just give an example for example it depends on the workplace ví dụ như là ở ở uh, yeah. mấy thẩm mỹ viện thì sao ta mặc yeah. đồ có áo blue trắng luôn chẳng hạn like in okay. beauty saloon in beauty saloon beauty people saloon. wear white blues Yeah. Or What and uh, not with the workplace now, right? Like okay. in a tech company, if you are a technician, an engineer, a technician, you might wear mấy cái đồ mà giống như kiểu mà màu xanh á, like blue yeah. uh, uniforms, you know. Yeah. Nó gọi là lao động cổ xanh là như vậy. We yeah. call them blue collar worker because of that, you know. Blue color work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, what kind of work? So, um, the clothes people wear in workplace uh depends on the, um what kind of workplace they work for or um, give me a second. Um. So um, the clothes people wear in workplace um, uh, varies, depends on, depend, depending, the clothes people wear uh, varies uh, depending on workplaces or the field they work. Uh, for example, in uh, beauty salons or like um, in um, a hospital, Um, the staff there usually wear white blues and um, for uh, in uh, a big companies or like 
incorporates uh, okay. that they usually you uh, that they usually wear uniforms like vests or suits, and um, also uh, people wear a clothes. Uh, the clothes people wear uh, are based on the field they work. For example, the doctors wear white blue when they're working. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, our um, technicians or teachers, technicians wear or office workers or office workers wear. No, hmm. got it. Yeah. Um. Uh. What do they wear? They chọn nghề khác. Để em chọn nghề. <laughs> Lao công là gì anh? Cleaning lady. A cleaning ladies. Cleaning ladies. Okay. Ah, uh, you just say a cleaner. Let's just say a cleaner. Cleaner. Or a janitor. You know the word janitor, right? Janitor, janitor là cái người mà. Uh, dọn dẹp và sửa chữa một cái nơi nào đó. Không. À em chọn uh, police đi. Oh, police officer. Police. police officer họ sẽ quen những cái bộ đồ bảo hộ là gì anh? Safety. Protective clothes. Protective clothes. Những yeah. đồ mang tính phòng vệ. Protective yeah. clothes. Yeah. For example, um, doctors uh, they usually wear white blues or Uh, police officers who uh, usually who often wear protective clothes. Okay. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. What are the differences between clothes worn by old people and those by young people? Người già người trẻ mặc đồ khác nhau cái gì không? So, uh, okay. uh, yeah, uh, when it comes to the differences between clothes um, used uh, by elderly and uh, young people, I could, uh, I could say two big differences. The first one is the colors of um, Almost, um, it's popular to see uh, the elderly. They are likely to wear like uh, dark colors or mm -hmm. neutral colors. Neutral uh, color. Neutral colors, um, because they don't want to be like uh, to be uh, stood out to be to stand out of the crowd to yeah. be stand out to be stand out không nó động từ luôn to stand out of the crowd to stand out of the yeah. crowd because they don't want to uh, stand out uh, from the uh, crowd and um, in contrast young people they want to like uh, uh, to be uh, to uh, attract more attention from public So they are likely to wear like vibrant, uh, colorful clothes. Uh -huh. And um, the second difference I can say is that the uh, the fabric or the material of the clothes. I mean, old people they uh, they usually wear something like um, những cái vật liệu nó bền vững là gì anh? Last long material. I mean, uh -huh. it can um, save uh, more time. Save uh, can have them to save time to like um, uh, clean or wash the clothes they use. And uh, and also for young people, like um, you know, they uh, they want to uh, like impress their. Uh, personality so they uh -huh. they can choose many materials that um, they like um, despite of what clothes what material uh, whatever the clothes are made from 
Uh -huh. Wow, that was such a good, such such a lot of effort. Yeah, thật là nhiều nỗ lực. Do you think that clothes reflect a person's point of view or opinion about many things? Um, Về nhà làm lại nha. Trời ơi, cái fluency quá tại nhà. Thôi nó khó mà anh. I know it's hard, but still you have to practice more. Yes, at home. yes. Ngào. Dạ, anh mới, mới một phát rồi vô, đập vô liền. You see, this is how it's supposed to be. Let's reflect a person view. Um, yeah, I do agree that uh, clothes can um, uh, reflect. Có từ nào nó thay thế reflect không ta? Can show. Show. A person boy can show. Can reflect can được mà gì tại sao là không lặp lại được? It's actually okay. Ý là know? mình ý là mình có từ gì mình có thể thay thế khi mà mình nói thêm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree that a person's point of view or opinion can be shown uh, through clothes. Um, for example, Um, a man can wear like a dress or skirt to like support the um, woman's right or uh, femi feminism. 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 No, feminism. I'm sorry, right? Feminism. I'm down. Feminism. Yeah. For example, men can wear skirt or dress uh, to support feminism. Um, um, and uh, moreover, uh, because of social causes, uh, people can choose uh, clothes that um, uh, biểu tượng gì yeah. symbolize that symbolize mm -hmm. like uh, a group of people um, let's let's take uh, like uh, republicans or democrats uh, for example um, blue and red right yeah yeah people can wear like blue and red or red clothes to show uh, uh, which Uh, which side uh, they support yeah and um, or another uh, example is the, the sh shortness of the pants the people wear yes. the shortness of how the pants people wear can reflect or what kind of message they want to convey nó có thể nó phản ánh được cái thông điệp mà họ muốn truyền tải. <cười> It can reflect Đã. the message they want to convey, you know. The message they want to convey. Ví dụ như là sự tự do trong thể hiện cá nhân. For example, the freedom of personal expression, the freedom of expression, uh, you know. Yeah, personality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tự nhiên em nghĩ sao đây đập pen em nghĩ bậy What do you mean? <laughs> quần ngắn quần dài nếu mà mặc quần dài thì là người tự tế mà quần ngắn này. No, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean if you wear long clothes you are much more kind. I don't think so. <laughs> you shouldn't think like that, you know. <laughs> Nếu mà nói vậy, không mặc, nếu không mà nói vậy mặc bikini ra biển chắc uh, uh, chắc uh, siêu không tử tế. <cười> ok, yeah. yeah, đúng rồi. Like uh, opinion uh, about freedom. Yeah. Ok anh. All right, that's good enough. Now, let's move on to the next one. Are you ready for the next topic? What's the next one? Oh, don't worry. It's gonna be fun. You will love it. No, it's not fun. Hmm. Okay, let's do number six. 
tall building describe a tall building in your city you like miêu tả một cái tòa nhà cao ở trong thành phố mà mình thích you should say where it is what it's used for nằm đâu được sử dụng để cho chuyện gì what it looks like nhìn như thế nào explain why you like it tại sao mà lại thích cái tòa nhà cao đó and then part 3 about tall buildings what are these uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in tall buildings có điểm lợi và điểm hại nào có chuyện sống trong những tòa nhà cao hay không Do you think there will be more tall buildings in the future? Bạn chỉ có nghĩ rằng sẽ có nhiều tòa nhà cao hơn trong tương lai hay không? Why aren't there many tall buildings in the countryside? Tại sao vùng đồng quê lại chẳng có nhiều tòa nhà cao? Why do some people like to live in tall buildings or houses nowadays? Tại sao một số người lại thích sống ở những tòa nhà cao hoặc là những căn nhà ngày nay? Alright, you have some time to think. Describe a tall building in your city you like, please. About, um, uh, about a tall building that I like, I a would tall, choose a tall building. A tall, about a tall building um, in this city I like, I would choose a centenary building, which is located in the city center. And um, it's um, so impressed uh so impressive uh that it um contains up to uh 100 uh, floors and um and this uh skyscraper um skyscraper skyscraper sky, skyscraper is you for uh, uh residential and commercial purposes um like um the first two floors are used for uh, are used to be uh, a shopping mall um and uh the two upper floors uh are used for the office and um the rest is used for like um uh residential um for residential res, residents for residences and um i uh, the reason why i like this uh building because it's like it's look like this is a symbol uh, of my city when we talk uh about this building uh, every people uh, know about it knows about it and it's look like uh, một cái cột mốc gì vậy? A milestone. A milestone. A milestone. A milestone. Milestone. A milestone. A milestone. O n. Milestone. On. The milestone. So uh, people consider it as a milestone. So, so I can say it uh, a symbol of my city. And uh, moreover, uh, there is a nursing room in the shopping mall of this building. So it's, I find it more convenient for me when I uh, take my boy shopping in this uh, mall yes so, yeah um and uh also uh there are a green space around this building so um so it can it can offer um yes. the uh, visitor a fresh um atmosphere so people can like uh, walk around walk in the park and um, yeah feel relaxed uh -huh. yeah that's all right it. good okay good enough yeah let's do part three now so what are the pros and cons or the advantages and disadvantages of living in tall buildings 
Yeah. So living in town buildings can have like a advantage and disadvantage. Um, pertaining to uh, the um, good uh, point living there, I could say um, uh, about the uh, convenience. I mean, in the town building, uh, they have like a complex um, um, local uh, facilities. I mean, uh, there are supermarkets, there are um, uh, pharmacies, uh, there are like park, a uh, swimming pool um, in uh, with, within uh, that building, within these buildings. So people can like um, save time um, rather uh, for commuting to uh, this uh, facility facilities if they live in like um, houses. So and um, also uh, uh, living in tall building, tall 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 tall, 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 tall buildings. Uh, can um, help them to uh, uh, stay away from bugs or like uh, best best I mean um, it's like I mean it's easier to like uh, see cockroach cockroaches, cockroaches, cockroaches. or um, ants or like uh, mosquito when living in houses so uh, yeah Town building is a good idea. Like uh, if uh, people have like um, a fear of uh, that uh, creatures, mm -hmm. and um, um, in contrast, um, living in tall buildings also have like some drawbacks. Um, the first one is that uh, mm, people who have um, a prophobia, I mean, a fear of height. It's not a good idea for them to live in tall ones. So, uh, houses Obviously, is the best it's, it's for obvious reason. Là cho những lý do rất là rễ dàng nhìn thấy obvious reason. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's an obvious reason. So, houses is the better choice for them. And uh -huh. um, also, um, uh, living in tall buildings sometimes, um, have like inconveniences for example when they have uh, like a fire or like, a, like when there um, is a fire khi có when lửa, there, khi is, có hỏa hoạn, có là there is when there, there are, is a fire when there is a or fire. power shortages um, it's difficult for like uh, for example elderly people or children to like um, clamp clamping up or climbing upstairs uh -huh. or walk down from like uh, for example a uh, 100th uh, floor to ground floor okay it's not a good idea to walk 75 floors right chào <laughs> 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 đúng nghĩa là tập cardio đó <laughs> okay <laughs> wow do you think there will be more tall buildings in the future? Um, um, yeah, I do think that uh, tall buildings will be more uh, prevalent in the future uh, because two main following reasons. The firstly, because of the booming in uh, population, so uh, the Cái nhu cầu là gì ta? Uh -huh. Yes. Demands. So the demands um, of um, residences is uh, increasing. So uh, tall building is the uh, solution for this. And uh, for example, you can see more and more. Um, cái khu, cái khu chung cư. Uh, more and more buildings. A complex building appears uh, in the city center. So, um, in the city center nowadays. So, yeah. Um, in the city center nowadays. 
And yes. for the second uh, reason is that um, uh, and the, for the second reason is that tone buildings uh, offer people um, more facilities, uh, mm -hmm. more conveniences. I mean, um, uh, uh, within the tone building, people can like uh, can find uh, gyms, can find uh, 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 grocery stores, uh, can find like uh, pharmacies. Uh, so, um, so this can benefit their residents than living in the house, the traditional house traditional houses and also think about a view if you live on very tall building the view oh. is excellent and you can basically take lots of good pictures and videos you know yeah in order to live in your dream to live in your dream to live in your dream why dream. okay so why aren't there many tall buildings in the countryside then what do you think so um so um it's not uh popular to see a tall tall buildings in the rural areas i think because of two main reasons firstly the people who live in the countryside almost uh, are elderly people so they they are likely uh dislike the um, uh, skyscrapers um they prefer uh, traditional houses and uh and also in uh, this uh, areas in rural areas, um, like I mean, nói sao? Thì cái này cái yes, in rural areas, what happens? Kỹ thuật xây dựng, cái, construct, cái đơn giản, cái đơn giản, đơn giản một cái á, là nó không có nhu cầu cần phải như vậy. There is no need for tall building in the countryside. Because there are lots of space for houses, you know. Có rất nhiều không gian cho những tòa, cho những cái nhà biệt lập thì tại sao phải xây tall buildings, đúng không, you know? Yeah. So there are lots of space for uh, houses. So there no need there for There is no need tall for building. tall buildings for anyway. Tall buildings in these places. Okay, good. And um, right. also so, in rural also, areas, yeah, also? I mean, also in rural areas, I mean, the construction skills is not uh, developing enough. It's not uh, well developing. It's so, not well developed uh, enough. So it's not. It doesn't well developed. It. Uh, it's, it's not. It's not well developed enough. Hold on. Not well developed. Oh, it doesn't develop good enough. Yeah. It doesn't develop enough yeah. to like uh, yeah to construct this kind of um, building. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So, that's so why, why do some that. people like to live in tall buildings or houses nowadays? Có tall buildings rồi, có houses Ủa, um, Give me a second Ủa sao có tall buildings rồi, còn houses nữa anh Là mình phải, phải tách ra hai ý luôn à Yes You have to split into two cases Tại sao một số người thích sống ở tòa nhà cao tầng Tại sao một số người thích người sống ở, ở houses Đó, you have to split into two Yes. Thì nó giống với Advantage right. và Dead Advantage mà đúng không? Yeah, okay. So, um, uh, some people 
in uh, in one half some people are likely to live in uh, uh, skyscrapers uh, because they uh, prefer to have the better view uh, better views I mean living in tall buildings with uh, within a high floors they can they can have a view to see the whole city so can offer them a good opportunity to take pictures or photos to live in their dreams uh, like um, uh, to uh, post the pictures that they, they like on Facebook Facebook or Instagram I mean and um, also uh, living in town buildings I mean uh, is more uh, safe uh, is safer is much safer than living in the in houses I mean, um, I mean, um, there are like a security team are working in tall buildings, so it's uh, difficult to have robbers or theft uh, for residences in this uh, in these uh, places. Uh, in contrast, uh, uh, on the other half, some people they prefer uh, living in houses uh, because uh, they have fear of height so um, it's not a good idea to live in the town buildings and uh, also uh, living in house they can have like uh, uh, privacy uh, I mean um, they will not they less be a they are less affected by neighbors mm -hmm. uh, or the noise uh, around than uh, town building. Okay. Right. Anything else you can you can add? Oh yeah, you add more. Còn gì nữa? Ok, good enough Alright, nhớ về nhà học luyện lại nha Những câu này nha Remember yeah. to go home and practice again Because fluency is really bad now Ok, that's the end of my videos Please like, share this video with your friends Subscribe to my YouTube channel And press on the bell button next to the subscribe button So you can get notified about my new uploads, ok? You can also follow, press follow my Facebook But please, don't add me on Facebook as friends, ok? Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi nha Các bạn hãy nhấn vào like, chia sẻ video này bạn bè các bạn Nhấn vào nút đăng ký kênh YouTube mình Và nút cái chuông kế bên cạnh để đăng ký kênh đó, Để mà các bạn có thể được thông báo về những video mới nha Các bạn cũng có thể nhấn vào nút theo dõi Facebook mình Nhưng nhớ đừng kết bạn Facebook mình nha Thank you and see you, bye!